a tall box. Alright. Today is, uh, what, 28th, I think? Yeah. 28? Oh, two months until my birthday. Oh my god, I can't believe it's already the end. I'm gonna be turning 40. No, I'm just kidding. 40? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, we got a nice little box of stuff today. Uh, first up, some neon blue rasboras. Very good seller here in the shop. They get a really nice metallic blue. Uh, look really good in a planet tank, nano tank, whatever. The males have a really cool dark red anal fin. You can kind of see it. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's a little stress right now. It is a little cold, but well, that's about it. Uh, for, got a discus. I got some discus this week. Once again, I ordered a bunch. They only sent me like half what I ordered, so that kind of sucks. But blue diamonds. There should be four of these guys. That's not blue diamond. <laughs> Here's a uh, cobalt. Those ones are pretty cool. They have good discus, so everybody wants them. I understand. <laughs> uh, there's another cobalt. A little stressed. Kind of sideways. Yeah, he's just looking at. He's looking at me actually. All right. Got a gold nugget. This is a L08 one. Oh, of course he's gonna go high, yeah. high up in the uh, graphics. I don't know. Oh, there he goes. Here's a good shot of him. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Always got the guppies. These mm -hmm. are some leopard tails. Black body with the blue top fin and leopard tails. Who would have thought? Ooh, uh, these guys did really well. Oh, those everybody, look nice. everybody, yeah, these are sweet. So, Gunther Achilles, real cool fish. Cool little breeding project if you're looking to breed something. Hillstream loaches, mini stingrays, whatever you want to call them. Real fun. Most annoying fish to catch in the store. <laughs> uh, their whole body is basically a suction cup, but they're really cool, good algae eaters. Supposedly you can breed them in captivity, uh, but there's just a bunch of little pebbles everywhere, like, you know, rocks like that size. Okay. You just kind of stack them in weird shapes, and they like that. Alright, uh, we got some Epistogramma McMasterized Super Reds. They get a lot more red over their body, they're just a little unhappy in the bag, but yeah, they look really good. There's a really nice big male there. My finger is... Here's showstopper. Always males and females in there, not paired off, but they're always in the mix. So, okay. Someone wants them. Uh, pygmy quarries, haven't actually had these in a bit, but good nano fish. I mean, you can have them in your community tanks too, just a small quarry. They kind of hover off the ground, which is kind of different. They don't usually hang on to the bottom like most quarries. Some more discus, another cobalt with a blue diamond. Female gups. Looks like a lot of red and maybe some leopard tails. Hmm. Nice. <clears throat> Discus, another blue pigeon, or uh, blue diamond, another uh, cobalt. I ordered yellow pigeons and, uh -huh. or yellow melons and red covers, but they didn't send them. Uh, these guys are kind of cool. Neo Lamprologus. Neo Lamprologus. Uh, Cephalus, cool little guy. They get yellow in their body too, they're not showing it, but really cool fish. Kind of a bigger shelly, but fun fish. Kind of looks like a frontosa. Yeah, it kind of does. From the same lake, so. Uh, neon green rasboras, these guys are always really cool, do really well. There's not a lot of green fish in the hobby, so. Not showing it right now, but really nice metallic kind of green color to them. Green Goblin. Green Goblin. Goliath bait. Yep. Earthworm Jim. All you fishermen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think a lot of people that are into fishing are also into fish, though. So. Oh, for sure. They go hand in hand. Yeah. We carry live bait now, as Tim just showed. Live bait. It is here. Auto Cyclus, great little uh, algae eaters. Looks like this is the first.
first time we've been filming since in a while that <laughs> it hasn't been like two o'clock or three o'clock. Right. We picked up in the airport <laughs> this time. Uh, Siamese LG juice, great LG juice. Look at your black beard, at your hair string, all that fun stuff. Great little utilitarian. These are the buff backs. You got real thick backs. I'm guessing that's why they call them that. <laughs> kind of cool looking. This type of spiny eel. Instagram uh, Borelli Opals. Really cool fish. A couple nice males showing right there. Yeah, probably gonna get shot there. Um, someone was asking for these, so I got some in, and I'm sure other people will buy them too because estos are amazing. Blue Neon Guppies, probably our best-selling guppy. Really nice metallic blue color. Instagram Super Reds, my favorite, Kakatoidi Super Reds. With the Guy Fieri Flames, as I will always say. <laughs> the same but <laughs> saw someone took the big one yep yep i also had someone that traded in a one that was like eight inches yesterday and it didn't last the day so cpds looking good good size nice healthy good fins always great sellers miniature brook trout really mm -hmm. uh clown killies i've had a lot of people asking for these Oh. They're cool, they're just very small, so uh, small. setting up another, well, designating another nano tank over there because I only have a couple nano tanks and they're very full of fish, so. <laughs> yeah, they're tiny, really cool fish though. Blue eye you can see from across the room. Ooh. Let's see, here's uh, the one tiger turquoise that we got. This ones are probably one of my favorites. Really nice striking pattern even when they're small. Yeah. Red wolffish. He's pretty cool, not a super common guy. Got two of these. So if you're Red looking for a really cool predatory fish, kinda you know, keep by himself, but these guys get really flashy. Should be another one here. Yeah. Real active fish. Well, when you're feeding them. <laughs> <laughs> Blues. Great big boy for a 10 gallon. If you're looking for a bigger fish, obviously you can't stick Still like an angel fish or something here. in there. <laughs> but yeah, these guys work good. They're nice and colorful. Uh, these are Colombians. I promise they're red and blue. <laughs> they just look <laughs> like clear nothing right now, but uh, yeah, really cool fish. They got a nice blue body with red fins. Panda Tetras. These guys are look very similar to one of my favorite Tetras, the Reed Tetra. Um, these guys are kind of actually like a mid top swimmer. You can okay. kind of tell by how like flat their top their body is, almost okay. like a hatchet fish. So yeah, they're pretty cool. Nice. These are, I call them Royal Hill Trout. That's what they used to be called. They're calling okay. them Royal Butterfly now. But yeah, really cool fish. Huh, Very yeah, nice. Yeah, like really pretty metallic colors on them. Green and blue stripes. 
I'm sure they could live in cold water. They just kind of have like that Danio look to them, you know. But, okay. Yeah, really cool fish. We got some uh, Dovi. More wolf fish, but these ones are cichlids. <laughs> Looking good. One of the few fish that we've spawned in the store and actually let raise their fry up. Usually they don't bother. Uh, Lima shovel nose, cool fish. Bigger cat, but not like red tail cat big. So, a lot more practical for most people. Right. <clears throat> and they don't have enor enormous mouths where they eat, eat everything in yeah, there. So. <laughs> We got some black neon tetris. When they're happy, they are solid black with a blue stripe across the middle. <laughs> you can kind of see it on some of them, but. Just put on the back of the lot. Luckily, the supplier is very good at packaging fish. Uh, neon sword tails, great seller. Tim knows. Yep, gotta love them. People walk past that tank all the time, they stop and then they go back. <laughs> they're like, what are these? Ah, I get a couple of these. Uh, pro killies, another type of really cool killie fish. As I get these as pairs, so I sell them as pairs. Otherwise, I just have a tank full of females. But yeah, pretty cool. Hello. How are you? Good. Very good. We do have chilies. Yep. <laughs> Got this in for a customer. I actually didn't tell them yet. They weren't available, but now they are. Because <gasps> I asked. I it's a asked surprise for Yeah, request. I asked for them and they sent it to me. Uh, watermelon just showed us. So, really cool uh, African fish. He's got a bunch of uh, African peacocks and he wants to stick it with them. They get huge, real nice red color. Right. Woo! It's a close one, uh, but he back. made it. Uh, Imperial Ranger Pleco is really cool little guys. They get pretty big, but uh, very popular when I get them in. They're also not super expensive. Fifteen bucks. Huh. So for you know a different type of Pleco, it's a good price. Yeah. Um, Scarlet Vadis. Had a lot of people asking for these, so I got some in. Looks like it's all males, like always, unfortunately, but they look good. Gold snake skins, another really good seller. These ones are like almost white looking. I don't know if it's yeah. just because they're a little stressed or what, but pretty cool. Monos. Oh yeah. Looking good. Everybody loves those. Named after a famous aquascaper. I don't know his I first name, know but that. his last name is a mono. Okay, <laughs> alright. <laughs> Emperor Tetris, cute little guys, really nice fins on some of them, the males. And last but not least, these are the neon red Rasboras, so the red, like the neon blue, nice. except they're okay. red. Yeah, they're pretty cool. There's also a green variant, but the red is probably less common, the least common of the three, but pretty cool. Nice, nice. So. Thanks for watching guys, we have uh, plants coming in on Friday and driftwood actually coming when this is being filmed, so oh, nice. it'll be here when you watch this video tomorrow. <laughs> Take care guys.